James O. Brooks is an interesting case. Obviously, he came up from TV. Mm-hmm. He still has an identity in TV because he's behind. Uh, he's one of the founding people behind The Simpsons, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very, very successful. And I think he's successful in a way because he's great at devising situations that he puts really interesting characters in. Now, in the in the film land, that's translated among some that have criticized him as uh, movies that play too much like TV. Um, and it, I think it's ironic, or, or not ironic at all, it's no surprise that his masterpiece is about the TV business <laughs> with broadcast news. Right, right. I like James L. Brooks. I like him because of his characters. Uh, even something that that is generally known as a failure, something like I'll Do Anything, I like a lot. That's all right. uh, so let, let me get you guys' takes on, on the work of James L. Brooks and what you think of the prospects for this new movie. Chris, do you want to start with that? Uh, sure. Uh, well, first off, I think it's interesting that this guy is in near Terrence Malick territory as far as like the, the speed with which he produces new movies. He's been making movies directing movies for about 20, almost 30 years, get six movies to his credit, so, uh, mm. including this one. Uh, I do think that there have been diminishing returns throughout the years. Obviously, as much as I like uh, As Good As It Gets, uh, I do think the terms of endearment and broadcast news are his two masterpieces, and those mm-hmm. were, you know, both of them were 12, 20 years ago, so right. more than that. Uh, I don't care as much for I'll Do Anything as you do. Uh, as Good As It Gets, I think, is a decent movie. I like it. I don't think it's as good as his original work. Spanglish, I think, is a mess. Um, yeah. And this new movie, to me, does not really look all that appealing, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, I don't know if it's because I don't, I'm don't. i not nuts about Ruth Witherspoon. I'm not nuts about uh, uh, Owen Wilson. I do like Paul Rudd, but I think what worked so well with some of his other movies, like Broadcast News, Terms of Endowment, and uh, As Good As It Gets, is the people he populates in these sort of like TV romantic comedies are not actors who you usually associate with doing that type of material. They're very, very serious actors. And therefore, when they do this, you know, this sort of lighthearted, uh, like, uh, you know, mellow dramas of his, um, it, it, it has an, an interesting effect to see these people yeah. doing comedy. Uh, You're right. Whereas with Reese Witherspoon and Owen Wilson, I feel like it'll come off the same way with, it did with Spanglish, which is it's just not funny. Uh, you're talking these people do funnier stuff. Right. Uh, and that's what I fear. And the, and the trailer, to me, is not funny. Uh, in fact, Jack, it's almost awkward to see Jack Nicholson in a trailer for a movie that looks this unfunny. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah, and he was a last-minute kind of replacement. I forgot who dropped out of that role. But... Um, but it looks somebody in the chat room asked, you know, they don't they can't tell what the movie's about from the trailer. It looks like every other romantic comedy ever made. <laughs> so for me the movie looks really common. Mm-hmm. Uh for someone as kind of distinguished as James O. Brooks, someone that I, I like his work a lot. It looks like another romantic comedy. Right. Uh, With you know, like but, a financial disaster maybe as the background for the story or something like that. But well that's, that's not yeah. enough. Paul Rudd's character, that's what I think the curiosity lies. What did he do? What is it that he's um, with? Um, I, I, I think Terms of Endearment, as it, the further I get away from it, the older I get, is a really brilliant film. Um, broadcast yeah. News, as I've got, I won't lie to you, when it first came out, I wasn't crazy about, but as I've gotten older, that film, certainly, um, and, and that's really thanks to Jamie actually revisiting that film, um, means more to me. Um, I'm not a big fan as as good as it gets. Um, I do hate to say it, Jamie, but I do, the first time I watched that, it does feel like a made-for-TV movie with A-list actors. Um, but I, I won't lie to you, I think Greg Kinnear is awesome in that film. Um, I do mm-hmm. walk away with that. Spanglish is... Well, it is. It is kind of, it is like that. Yeah. I mean, but 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 the characters are special. I think those characters yeah. are special. Yeah. I think their relationships are special. No, no, you're right. No, no, and I and I and I and I, and I definitely see where you're coming from with that. Spanglish is the one thing that I guess we're all, you know, everyone was hoping after Punch Drunk Love, you know, and it just feels, you know, it doesn't really feel like much of anything. Spanglish, it's 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 a yeah. myth on a lot of things. I um, like Adam Sandler in it. I, I do, but. 
but the movie the movie does doesn't seem to have a a focus. Right. No, that's that's a really that's a per- that's a perfect word. It doesn't have a focus. I have high hopes for this because I do like Paul Rudd a lot. And let me ask you this: What besides Four Christmases? What has Reese Witherspoon done since Walk the Line? Mm. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. I was uh, the 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 uh, the thing with. Uh, about the guy that was arrested for a suspected terrorism that Jake Gyllenhaal did, oh, Redemption? Okay, Re- yeah. Rendition? Yeah, Rendition, you're right. Yeah, neither one of those movies. Okay, <laughs> but I think that the idea of her acting opposite Paul Rudd has um, some promise. Owen Wilson, if it's like a repeat of You, Me, and Dupree, well, and that's what it looks like, kind of. Um, right. That's not good. I think Wes Anderson gets the best out of Owen Wilson, out of anybody, um, that really challenges him. And I like what I said to you in the email earlier, it's weird to see Jack Nicholson in a supporting role like this. Yeah, I've always liked the fact that he's perfectly willing to do it, though. Yeah. And he, he always has been. I mean, take him at his at his apex. Yeah. He's, he's been willing to do supporting stuff. Right. Um, news. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Reds, that kind of thing. Yeah, Red, mm-hmm. You know, uh, I think it really all has to do with casting. And terms of endearment would not have elevated itself above TV movie of the week uh, as well as it did mm-hmm. without a combo like Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger mm-hmm. playing off each other. As much right. as they were at each other's throats during filming, I mean, it worked. <laughs> it worked for the movie. It did. it did. You're right. It did. Yeah, yeah. And plus, I think there's some really smart writing, too, uh, uh, in most of his films, you know. Also, Owen Wilson, uh, I hate to harp on the guy, but uh, he's sort of in M. Night Shyamalan territory, which is people oh, God. Sort of see him. Well, they sort of see no, you're, him. I know what you he, mean. He's given people a lot of uh, turkeys, you know. I mean, he's mm-hmm. put out a lot of really bad movies, uh, to some pretty terrible ones, actually, and fairly consistently. Uh, and so he's to the point now, when you see him in a trailer your eyes almost glaze over and i can hear the audience going oh my god you know like uh it's just like with the m night Shyamalan produced movie uh devil you know the elevator movie like yeah people, people are totally into the trailer and then they see m night Shyamalan, they're like ah come so on, they did know. that with you too because when when we saw scott pilgrim people just burst out laughing when his name came up yeah yeah they do uh but i feel like people do it with owen wilson movies too uh it's, yeah and just it's like in my Shyamalan, every character owen wilson plays has to have a surprise ending i don't like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah he is the romantic comedy answer to um oh, shit i forgot what i was going to say <laughs> <laughs> well besides, i'm so sorry guys help me out guys help me out guys what are we are we talking about like because he does stuff like marmaduke and uh, Drill Bit Taylor. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You, yeah, me, and got... Dupree, and... Uh, Marley and you know, Me was a big success. The Marley uh, is a standout there outside of Wes Anderson, but, um, yeah, I know what Chris is saying, though. Um, but that was because of the dog. I think the dog, he, he, yeah, if he, he didn't have the dog in that movie. Um, yeah, and, of course, I'm talking about Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> I knew that was coming. 